Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sam Rajawi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Bahraini participation in the Saudi Camel Federation Championships is a reflection of the support and care provided by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser highlighted that the new achievement made by Mnadi in coming in first place on the Saudi Ministry of Sports Camel Cup in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia confirms the distinguished Bahraini presence in foreign championships. His Highness stated that the Saudi Camel Federation's tournaments are among the most competitive in the region, witnessing a wide participation, noting that Bahrain's participation was culminated with the success of winning first position in many categories. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed his keen desire for Bahrain to continue displaying a strong participation and victory in various upcoming tournaments. Following the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, the Honorary President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of Brief's President, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the National Day Championship for Arabian Horse Beauty kicked off. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the support received from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the equestrian sports and events. To add another success to the series of achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain, which comes from His Majesty's keenness towards Bahrain's heritage. His Highness added that the event is in line with the National Day and His Majesty's accession to the throne. The event will witness the participation of winners, owners and stables in which are in line with the vision of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Isa praised the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his personal follow-up in order to ensure the success of the sports heritage. He affirmed the keenness of the owners and stables to deliver the best performance, which affirms Bahrain is the best place to showcase the Horse Beauty Championships. First place winners were honored during the event. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to inaugurate the Continental Sports Event Bahrain 2021, the Asian Paralympic Games for Youth, which will be hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain from November the 28th to December the 7th. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stated that the Asian Paralympic Games for Youth is an important global sporting event and it is being witnessed by the Kingdom of Bahrain reflects the embodiment of the generous directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in addition to the support of the government led by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness stated that Bahrain's hosting of this Asian session is an extension of the many continental and international tournaments that Bahrain hosted in the past few years. His Highness added that the Kingdom's hosting of sports championships comes in light of the new strategy for Bahraini sports to attract and host various sporting tournaments, which confirms Bahrain's position on the continental and global levels, and sheds light on its achievements in various fields, including the youth and sports sector. His Highness welcomed the distinguished guests of the Kingdom, wishing them a pleasant stay and success, expressing his appreciation for the great efforts made by the Supreme Organizing Committee of the session headed by the Chairman of the Bahrain Paralympic Committee, Sheikh Mohammed bin Daij Al Khalifa, to prepare and organize this continental event. The opening ceremony began with the Royal Anthem of the Kingdom of Bahrain, then was followed with the entrance of the queue of the 30 Asian countries participating in the tournament, followed by a video displaying the Paralympic Games. After that, Sheikh Mohammed bin Daij Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he stated that the continent of Asia celebrates the opening of the fourth edition of the Asian Paralympic Games for Youth 
and in the largest youth gathering of Asian Paralympic sports, welcoming the guests and participants. He added that the event contributes to the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals and the goals of the Bahrain Paralympic Committee, which are inspired by the goals of the International Paralympic Committee and the policies of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports to overcome all obstacles for the determined champions by creating sports, facilities and non-discrimination, as well as giving them equal opportunities. Following that, the President of the Asian Paralympic Committee, Majid bin Rashid al Husaymi, delivered a speech in which he thanked Bahrain and its leadership for hosting the session through which Bahrain worked to convey the kingdom's message by presenting an exceptional version that is remembered and inspired to the youth. Following that, the flag of the Asian Paralympic Committee was raised and the committee's anthem was played and then the oath was taken by a number of sportsmen and the goodwill ambassador for the United Nations Development Program endurance sports professional, Michel Haddad, who took steps in support of the championship and concluded the ceremony with an entertainment show and then ignited the torch of the Asian Session Paralympic. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, to inaugurate the Muharraq Grand Park. The inauguration coincides with Bahrain's celebration of its national day, holidays. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed said, the inauguration of the Muharraq Grand Park is part of an integrated system of gardens, parks, and recreational facilities in various regions of the kingdom which comes within the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and within the keenness of the government headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to expand the projects that benefit Bahrain's green zones and strengthen the tourism infrastructure. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed expressed satisfaction with the achievements in this regard, stressing that they promote sustainable urban development as well as enhance the infrastructure for parks and recreational facilities. He recalled with appreciation the role of the late His Royal Highness, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, who had accorded the Grand Park project full care and support. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed stated that Bahrainis are at the core of the strategies, plans and programs adopted by Bahrain for sustainable development and stressed that the projects with the new dimensions at the tourism level are among the priorities of the economic recovery plan. 
He commended the efforts exerted by all concerned parties, especially the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, Muharraq Governorate, Muharraq Municipality and Muharraq Municipal Council. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed lauded the level of cooperation and coordination in rehabilitating and developing the park to provide the necessary infrastructure, modern services and various recreational facilities and congratulated the residents of Muharraq on the completion of the project. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal, has affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform project has placed Bahrain on the right track of comprehensive development and progress, achieving outstanding success stories, on top of which is the Kingdom's pioneering woman advancement experience, achieved thanks to the unwavering support of the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. She indicated that Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika's initiatives have become a source of pride not only at the local level but also globally, citing the fruitful outcomes of the Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Global Award for Women's Empowerment, launched after the distinguished success of the local edition. She stressed that the UN adoption of the award proves its effective role in achieving the ultimate goal of empowering and advancing women. Speaker Zainal pointed out, 
that Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika's efforts have strengthened the kingdom's status as a pioneer in deepening the role of women, noting that the Supreme Council for Women is a unique think tank thanks to its role in enhancing the Bahraini woman's role. The speaker made the statements while meeting the chairperson of the Senate of Uzbekistan, Tanzila Kamalanova Narbieva, on the sideline of the closing session of the 143rd Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union. Speaker Zainal highlighted the Bahraini women's strides across various fields, citing the women-related efforts and initiatives emanating from the visions and aspirations of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. On her behalf, Tanzali and Narbieva lauded Bahrain's pioneering experiences in empowering women and making them effective partners in building their nation, affirming her interest in being informed closely about it, especially regarding the launched initiatives and the institutional base on which they are founded. She stressed that the Uzbek Senate's keenness to develop its cooperation and joint action with the legislative branch in Bahrain. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,189,274 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,160,681 received the second and 598,942 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 319 with 40 recoveries, 31 registered new cases and no deaths. 11 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 16 are contacts of active cases and 4 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus. The Kingdom of Bahrain was honored in the field of charity and His Excellency, the head of the Arab Parliament, Adil bin Abdul Rahman al assumi was named Man of the Year in 2021 for his efforts for the Arab causes and the joint Arab work. Those honors were provided by the Arab Women Festival for Innovation. Ahmed Nader has more details from Cairo. The Arab Women Festival for Innovation under the theme of uh, culture and the strategy of parental leadership, witness the event of honoring the Kingdom of Bahrain in the attendance of a large Arab gathering represented in the Royal Association for the Charitable Work and the status of the Bahraini personality to serve the Arab interests. The dignified attendance stressed the warm status of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the hearts of the Arabs and the Egyptians to receive this high honor. The general honoring for the association is mainly for its amazing efforts and the amount of work it oversees in the field of charity. Not just for the Arab countries, but the organization mainly helps the entire world for the higher cause of humanity. Amidst the big gathering of the members of parliament and the society organizations, the honoring was for the Royal Association for Charitable Work and the organization's delegate, Mrs. Naila Asher, gave a brief speech about the role of the organization under the auspices of His Royal Highness King Hamad bin Isa in terms of having an impressive pioneering role for the society as well as being the best societal organization in the field of supporting widows and orphans. The event also witnessed the screening of a brief film involving the achievements and the societal services provided under the chairmanship of Dr. Mustafa Sayyid. I am extremely proud to be working for the Royal Association for Charity because this is included within the structured project of His Royal Highness the King. This honoring in particular is an amazing feat which I am very proud of and I specifically consider it a throne above our heads 
are dedicated to His Royal Highness the King, the Crown Prince, the Prime Minister and His Excellency Sheikh Nasser. The Conference of the Arab Women was our main target at the association. One of the goals for us is to provide a decent life for women, to support and empower them. At the organization, we founded a project entitled the Kings of Bahrain, which started firstly with training, providing courses for skills, supporting widows and orphans through teaching them a skill that could enable them to open a private business. Within the event, the Bahraini personality for the effective Arab role was honored, represented in His Excellency Adil bin Abdurrahman al-Assumi, the head of the Arab parliament, as the Man of the Year 2021 in honor of the efforts for the Arab causes and the joint Arab work. This is Ahmed Nader reporting for the television of Bahrain.